Don't worry, I won't be doing the voice the whole time. Welcome, boils and ghouls and non-slimeries, to our first tale of Halloween terror this year. Silent Hill for the original Slay Station. Although I'll be showing you the PS Slash X version on PS Scream. Okay, I'm back. I didn't want to talk over the fantastic little tune in the intro video. As I was saying, I don't own the disc version of this game. But I did rent it from a block blister back in the day. But rental's been dead longer than I have. <laughs> so I've gone out and bought it on the old PlayStation Online store for PlayStation 3, and it's going to try to do a demo mode now, isn't it? There we see our hero, Harry Mason. It's very soupy weather out. I bet he doesn't have the foggiest idea where he's going. <laughs> But anyway, oops, this wasn't what I wanted to do. I was trying to show you the manual, but well, I'm old and this new technology is very newfangled. In tonight's tale, our hero, Harry Mason, is trying to scroll through the instructions to get to something that actually has a point. Oh, there's a neat little concept art. But him and his little girl have just crashed into the vacation town of Silent Hill. A town with more than a few Skeletons in the closet, monsters, drug pushers, and a body-snatching doomsday cult. This town's got more parasites than a political convention. <laughs> Oh, 
Here's the last bit. Harry Mason, 32, writer, protagonist, as in agony, get it? Lost his wife to disease, left a shadow over his soul. His daughter's the only bright spot left in his life. But he's about to lose her. Forever? We'll find out. <laughs> I like how the manual just straight up says, No, she's a normal child. Don't, nothing to see here, normal. Normal, normal child. Nothing weird gonna happen with her. And then we've got the cop. And for some reason she feels very Resident Evil to me, but maybe that's just because of these games were coming out around the same time and had cops in small towns. So anyway, yeah. Let's actually play the game. I, I, I guess normal. I forgot that it had I forgot that it had difficulty settings. I guess we're doing normal. So yeah, the intro was all very, um, different stuff chopped, different stuff chopped together. But, basically, we saw what appears to be the motorcycle cop has ditched her motorcycle. Harry got distracted by that and then didn't see the little girl wandering through the road. And crashed his jeep. And now his daughter is lost. Cheryl, where could you be? It's strange. It's quiet. This place is like a ghost town. I'm trying to remember what his voice sounds like. Cheryl! I think, I think his voice is more high-pitched than mine, I think. Okay. We do not have twin stick controls. So we can't manually move the view. He doesn't react to this door. I want to go back and look at the jeep, though. Just for the sake of completeness and thoroughness. Look at how he crashed this thing right through the wall. My car! Too banged up to drive. Where's Cheryl? I hope she's safe. Cannot interact with that thing on the ground. And this way the road is blocked. Somehow by a big rock. Can't get out of town through here. Wait, did I see something or was I just the texture being weird? Just the bottom of the texture. And this one will be the same. We've got to go the direction the game told us to go. In fact, if we come over here, this gate doesn't do anything. But if we go a little further up the street somewhere, this door doesn't do anything. One thing I noticed, this game doesn't do... I feel like all the later Silent Hill games, every door you can try to interact with, I feel like that's the case. Mark them all off on your map. I probably don't have a map yet. Newspaper? I wonder what the YouTube algorithm is going to do to the dithering. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through YouTube, but... It's a very weird dithering effect in this game. Like the little small crisscrossy patterns. Just all over the screen, they're more visible. You see something off in the distance in the fog. forces us to go this way. Last time this happened when I tried to walk into the convenience store. 
I did a test play. I don't know how. I don't know how to finish that sentence. I fucked up the wording. I didn't go much further than this in my test play, is what Cheryl? I'm trying to say. Is that Cheryl? Yeah, I was doing a pretty good job on his voice. He sounds confused and a bit high and raspy. Cheryl? Where are you going? Hey, wait! Stop! So why is she just walking off into the fog? She's my daughter and I need to save her, but she's running away. There's probably not much I can do to be distracted around here. Because the game wants to force you into this little bit. Yeah, no interaction on the buckets. Probably nothing else you can do. Don't see any items yet in the game world. Harry does get out of breath. Oh, the camera zooms out if you try to look at it. Maybe to cover up how unnatural and inhuman his face looks. Beware of dog. Well, it's not the dog you have to worry about in here. Oh dear. Look like somebody's gone to pieces. What the? What is it? Well, I would say it's pretty extensive blood splatter there, Harry. Didn't you watch Dexter? Oh, and we get our first Dutch angle of the game. The old Dutch camera angle. I don't know if that's exactly a Dutch angle, but it's the, it's the same idea. Disorient the viewer with off-kilter camera. That's strange, it's getting darker. Well, I'll pull out my lighter, and there's an air raid siren going off in the background. We'll just not worry about that for now. But the camera angle... What? A, a wheelchair in an alleyway? <laughs> so yeah, I guess that's why the wheelchair became such a big deal in Silent Hill aesthetics, is just because there's one like right at the very beginning of the game. Meant to be odd. And a body on a gurney. What's this? Well, it's clearly a bloody body under a sheet. Have you never starred in a horror game before? Yeah, I just had to turn off the microphone to have a coughing fit. So I guess I'm going to have to stop doing that voice very much. Well, this isn't good at all. Blood? Why? Why is there blood and wheelchairs and chunks of body? What is this? What's going on here? Well, Harry, it is a crucified body on a barbed wire fence. Oh, there's babies attacking my ankles. Literally ankle biters. What's this doing here? And they've got knives. And we're in a dead end. The end isn't the only thing that's about to be dead. <laughs> Well, game over. I didn't have any weapons or anything, so I guess there's just... Oh, wait. We're not dead.
Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl? Just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. you're going my daughter I've got to find her no way it's dangerous out there in that case I need to find her now Cheryl's my little girl I can't just leave her out there by herself have you got a gun Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Yes, that is definitely what cops would do now in this situation. Me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. <laughs> Got it? Oh, don't blast you, you say. Yeah, thanks. Do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. Don't go blasting her, which is a possible event, depending on what ending you're going for. A radio? Is it broken? can't hear anything. Oh, okay, I can't take it yet. I can take a knife, though. Health drink. Yummy, yummy. Can I play pinball? Pinball machine. Nothing unusual. What is this movie poster? No, nothing. Another health drink, a flashlight, and a map. What's with the camera angle? Oh, there's a there's a thing flying past. Can I get that camera angle again? Nope. 
It's gone forever. Someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they will find my notes useful. <clears throat> so the save games are... Oh, I guess I have an old save game from... That's not from today, that's probably from years ago when I bought this. Just testing it out. Probably, yes. This is the save point that it was in. So, we've saved over the old ancient Harry Mason with his blocky figure, his polygons, his weird mullet points that go down points in his neck. Is he called Harry Mason because he looks like he's made out of bricks? <laughs> Alright, how do I open the menu? Let's pause. This goes, there's the menu. Okay, health drinks to 15... Stock 15. I don't have any extra clip, I guess. How do I... Oh, okay. Flashlight off. Let's equip the knife. Yeah, let's try to save ammo for now. In the early game, we'll try to save ammo. And when you ready the knife, you can spin on one foot. Yeah, do the stinky leg. Okay. Very short range. Seems like you can only do a double slash. Seems timing based, maybe. Oh, there's a do a little front step. How did that work? Oh, you can walk while you're you can walk. you're moving, you do the front stab. Okay. I play this game, but it's been a long, long time. Can you? No, you cannot run while equipped. Okay. Let's go face this pterodactyl. What? The, the radio? Huh. It's... Radio. What's going on with that radio? Well, let's go pick it up. I'm starting to feel it's literally impossible to hit him with a knife. It would seem it would seem that you can't hit flying enemies with a knife. That little boom noise when you hit start makes me want to say Resident Evil. But no. It's, it's not Resident Evil. I don't know why they added that little musical sting that's so similar to Resident Evil. Okay, I wonder if I can just hit the right button. I wonder if I can just 
grab the radio and run away, or do I have to fight this thing? What's that? Huh. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Mm, so this is unskippable. step on them. I mean, stomp them, I mean. Yeah, let's take that radio that seemed to come in handy letting you know there's an enemy. Okay. We've got a radio, we've got a flashlight. Is the radio on? Well, it's not letting me turn the flashlight on the hotkey yet. There is a button for it, supposedly. Maybe you can only do it when it's dark? Where could Cheryl have gone? I guess I'll check that alley again, because it worked out so well the first time. bullets just just left on a park bench even though we're not in a park no parking we're in an anti-park let's not go directly where the game tells us to go because there might be other goodies around there might be other other bullets other health drinks who knows what we could find Steal some mail. Metropole, I wonder what that is. Uh oh. Must be across the street. Still not letting me turn the flashlight on with the... Oh yeah, it's just not letting me use it. Okay. Thing. So this is actually not the convenience store I thought I was in. Is there anything in my truck now, like a health drink? A truck, Jeep, whatever. Still don't have anything to say about this locked street. Oh, hello. There's a monster here. I still don't see any. St oh, there is a health drink here. Okay. Bye bye, monster. 
Nothing there. Just a little, you're, you're a fast mover. Just run away. Don't get anything for fighting them. Only fight if they're in the way and you have to get past them. Okay, you're very fast moving. You gotta knock that off. Don't be so fast. It would appear that you cannot run away from these. Unless maybe you get out of their zone. One of them is not chasing me anymore. Maybe they have a limited zone in which they're in. Okay, my health is still not too bad. Exploring. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there's hardly any buildings you can actually go in. Okay, that door's really green and obvious. Is it still not? No? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna quit trying all the doors. I'm just looking for stuff. There's a dog. Another dog. Do I see something that's that tree or no? It's just the way the snow landed. Snow? Why is it snowing? And the road just ends. There we go. Oh, we got a key of lion. What does that do? I don't know, but apparently we had to come down here because we got a key for it. Um, point at the thing, dummy. Okay, so I can kick them once they're down. Give me a different camera angle. Didn't I see something next to the... There we go. No, I guess I already picked it up. Okay. So, oh, God. Step on. I'm taking damage like crazy, though. Okay. We got the key of lion. I don't know what that does, but we got it. So we do apparently need to come down here. See, I wasn't wasting my time wandering around. Okay, so we've been down there, we marked it with an X. Let's try looping to the left and then up through that alley if we can. really wish you had right stick view control on this game just a little bit so I don't have to keep stopping to look. Because there are some porches that have stuff on them. Definitely. Mailboxes? I don't know. Oh, fuck 
you. Two of them, no thank you. The alley that I was thinking, yes. Oh, I took some more damage, my thing's vibrating. I don't know if I want to use it before I'm in red, though, because it seemed to take me from red all the way up to green. if there's ever anything in the trash cans. It's really annoying though having all these little side gaps when you can't just swivel the camera. What? Where? Please turn the camera around. For Pete's sake. All these little side holes, you can't just swerve the camera while you run by, you have to like stop and turn. I mean, you can strafe, but it's very slow. Oh, it says off limits, but it let me open it anyway. Haha. <laughs> Key of Woodman. Alright, we got another key. Another health drink if he'll please pick it up. The dog head under a basketball. Goal. Got all these keys. Where's the door to open? How oh, is that it? Is this the whole area? And there's a blood splatter on the goal, so they actually threw the head through the basketball. Classy. Stay classy, San Diego. I mean, Silent Hill. I got so into the meme, I forgot to change the name of the town. liquor store. Egg. 99 cent eggs. They have some kind of Food and liquor. Food and liquor. It's very weird. The L2 button just slightly adjusts your view. Oh, it looks, it makes it look whatever direction he's looking. So if you're not looking at camera... Okay, that's... Weird button, but okay. Where am I? Okay, let's stop dicking around. Let's stick around just a little bit more. Let's go back down the alley and check out Queen Burger. That sounds like it might have something. Let's do a little loop around and then we'll go... Then we'll go look for Cheryl. I know I've lost my daughter. I didn't forget. That's the same one I went through. Didn't seem like the right distance to me. A very long alley.
Queen Burger. There's nothing right here. But a monster. Ah, there's a health drink. drink was it worth the ammo maybe maybe not who can say okay, so I think this is the cafe Get to the other side of the street and see what's over here for sale There's really no doors you can open. Except for that one fence door. I mean, you know? It was kind of obvious, but some of these doors that don't open are kind of obvious, too. Really makes you wonder. Okay, that fucker's coming straight for me, so we're just gonna run. gets tired of chasing us at some point. Fuck off. Oh, God. For fuck's sake, I'm gonna burn all my ammo. Just trying to... So it does max at 15. I've only got like barely another load. Okay, so that's. You can use that to turn the view around if it gets like backwards. Wait. Nope. Some. Ah, oh fuck, I hear it. Dog. Fuck. Off. Dogs. Yeah, no shit. Beware of dog. So, yeah. This game is a bit of a challenge at this point. Mostly because the lack of ammo has me not wanting to fight anything, but... The, the camera angle... I thought I was at the top, so then I thought... Me coming off the bottom was an enemy. So same alley, same camera angles. But it's daytime and there's not any kind of weird bloody fence world going on. Okay. Oh, thank the lord. Just getting some more handgun bullets would make it a lot easier, because those f you can't outrun the flyers. You can outrun the dogs. Two... Isn't the Cheryl sketchbook? To school. Mm. She's at the school. Okay. Oh, we got way across town now. Way across town objective. We got a steel pipe. Hopefully that's got enough reach to hit the birds. That's the main problem we're having right now. We can't reach the birds with a knife. This picture on the sketchbook, it's me. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. Well, you're not gonna, you're not gonna bring it with us. You're just gonna leave your daughter's sketches to rot on the ground. What kind of father are you, Harry Mason? Pick it up and bring it with you. Wait, oh, we can't go through here. We just, we got a lead. That's all we got. Sh 
shit, that means the dogs are still going to be out there. Uh, how many bullets do I have now? 46, I mean that's some. Three foot long steel pipe. Long range, but of limited use. Well, it's better than burning my bullets, maybe for now. Maybe. Takes about five bullets to take down a flyer. I'd rather not even try to fight the dogs. Oh well, it's very slow. Still can't open this. Okay. Gotta head for the school now. Beware of the dogs. Head for the school. Beware of these flying bastards. Sometimes they don't... I guess maybe it depends on what animation they're stuck in when you go by. Because sometimes they don't keep up with you. Fish and fries? Fish and fries? Just, just call it fish and chips. Why would you do that? Just call it fish and chips. Okay, where are we? We're on the northern street. Going left, right, right. Okay, there's Levin, Matheson. So we've covered around Elwoy and the Queen Bird. There's a Balkan church and a gas station. I'm sure we have to go all those places later. Let's cross the street and do the outermost edge of town first. I meant to try the back door, but... I'm still getting used to the motion controls. The controls of motion, not like... Mo oh, yeah, see, he's moving fast. Can I weave through the trees? Does he get stuck on trees? A little bit, maybe. Oh, that's the end of the line. Here. Camera. Camera is the second worst enemy next to flyers. He doesn't even, like, like in the later games, he'll at least say, L broken. And then it'll show on your map that the door's read it out. Oh, this is the doghouse. Ah, fuck. Okay. This isn't gonna work. And I haven't saved in forever, so I better be safe with the health. Thank you for not turning around on our end. inspect that doghouse. I want to inspect that doghouse. Because this doghouse is the star of a meme. I think it's this doghouse. That might be a different doghouse. Probably a doghouse, though I'm not sure since there's no dog around. There's a meme of him saying this while that dog is jumping through the air and attacking him. Ah! <laughs> 
Aha. Uh -huh. I found a locked door at the doghouse. I thought there was something something important about that doghouse, but I couldn't really remember what. And I am almost out of health drinks. We're going to have to depend on the gun for now. But we got boom, we got more bullets than health for the moment, so Maybe I should have played on easy. <laughs> he fell down the stairs. Fell off the stairs. And just that one... I wanted to look at the map. It doesn't show anything unless I'm covering it up with my... You better not take damage for that. I wouldn't be mad if I took damage for falling. Okay, so the doghouse house has a locked door. It's not showing on the map, though, I don't think. No. Yeah, let's keep hugging the right as much as we can. Oh. That's the end of that. Lots of papers. Bloody papers all over the end of the street. Doghouse, Levin Street. Well, I just checked the doghouse on Levin Street. He said there was nothing there. He won't look at these papers. Stop. Yeah, that's probably a good idea at this point. It's probably a good idea to not keep driving down that road. It's a fire hydrant. That is not a dog. Let's go back up the other side of 11th Street. Let's see if there's any goodies in those yards. It's a very short render distance on this game, eh? I mean, it's well done. It's, you know, it's like, hey, it's foggy because it's a spooky town. That's the reason we gotta hide all these polygons from you. Okay, fuck you. So it seems like it's four to put it down, and then a kick. The dogs are, I think, maybe only two. Yeah. If falling does damage, it's not much. Yeah, there's nothing. I am pretty sure that some porches do have health drinks on them, though. That's why I'm still looking. But I don't need to char eye all the doors. Now, how long was this street? I know the doghouse is on the other side, but I want to be thorough in my search. Okay. My sense of direction is bad, but it's not that bad. Okay, where's the doghouse? I wonder how long it takes for the enemies to respawn. House key was hidden in the doghouse. Well, I looked already. Wait. Why am I doing this? I'm supposed to be going to the school. Oh, I bet all the streets are blocked off. Let's go check before we do that. So there might be some more health drinks in this area. Okay, so we turn right. That street was blocked. 
Let's go straight across and see what we find. these out around as I thought. There's another dog. There's a dead end. There's a car. I don't see any stuff yet. Oh, uh, there's a health drink there. The jaw dogs. Eh. It's a lot of dogs. It's a lot of dogs. Standing between me and that health drink. Can I lead them away? I don't have any idea how their patrol routes or whatever work. Oh, that one's still here. Yeah, that's two and he's down. That's definitely worth it. That's the only one I've got to fight to get it. Told you. There were health drinks. I thought the free screen. I thought the screen froze up because he's about to go through the door. Okay, so there's a health drink. I told you there was health drinks on porches. Now I've been vindicated. So now we're at the south end of this street, at least as far as we can go. So I know we can go back up Matheson, but I'm guessing if we turn south off Matheson, that'll be blocked. Probably Elroy too. They're probably all blocked around the same latitude. Hello, you were right in my face, weren't you? But I do need to scrounge for whatever health drinks I can find before we move the plot along. There's a dog. I really wish there was a save point somewhere. It was a long time to go without a save point. These old classic games, there's three freaking dogs in this thing. But it's only two bullets per dog. And there was something on the ground. I don't know if it's a paper or a save point. Kick it. Excuse me, kick it. that. Okay, it's not consistent at all. It's not at all consistent how many bullets it takes. Now what was this? Oh, first aid kit. That's going to be better than a health drink, I bet. I bet that's better than a health drink. That was a lot of bullets to get it though. Still got more than a full load though. More than a full extra clip, so it's not too bad. Fresh roasted coffee. Got a coffee house. Always good to see that in a resort town. And yes, the road is broken. I knew it would be. The game's funneling us towards the school. We gotta go through the doghouse to get there. This is not an open world game, really. Kind of has the appearances of it for a game. For a game this old, it is quite open, but... Poston Market. Gonna go get some chicken and some mashed potatoes at the Poston Market.
But no parking sign is in the way. I can't see whose drugs these are. Jelleron's drugs? Layron? Lelron? It's fuzzy. I'm not really sure where one letter ends and the next begins. There's definitely going to be something down here. Got to be some kind of reward on this alley. Lots more bullets than I spent. I think it's always 15 in a box. Oh, 52 bullets, yeah. It's probably 15 in a box. I don't remember exactly what it was before, but it's like 19? It's maybe it's 25 in a box. No, not 25, maybe 20? I don't know. No, it was at 20-something before. Yeah, it's 15 in a box. It was at 20-something before. I can't do any mail theft still. Beer. Ghoul? Is it tool ghoul? Is that what it is? No? Just says ghoul on the side too. Odd. What is ghoul? What sort of establishment? What sort of establishment is named ghoul? What's that? Oh fuck! It's a one of those sitting in wait. I just saw like a little tan mound, and I was like. Excuse me. So if you see a little flesh-covered mound, flesh-colored mound, it's one of those lying in wait. Huh. I really wish I could save before I try to do this. There's a key in a mailbox, and I gotta balance beam it. I don't know if it's possible to fall off of this if you don't aim correctly, but I'm not going to be reckless. So we got a key, we got a health drink. The key of Scarecrow. Okay. Yeah. Health drink. Door doesn't open. I found like three keys so far. Wait, how are there trees growing out if the street just broke? This must have been broken for a very long time to have trees growing out of where it's broken. I think it seems like it's... Yeah, it keeps you on the tree. You can't fall off of it. Okay. Alright, so we've got all these keys, but we're not finding... Did I ever find the dog? Yeah, I found the doghouse key. Duh. So what are all these other keys for? Lion, Scarecrow... Oh. Lion, Woodman. Lion and Scarecrow are from Wizard of Oz. I guess the Tin Man was a Woodman because he chopped wood. In America we usually call him the Tin Man, but maybe in other countries they call him the Woodman. Depending on whether you want to go by what he's made out of or what he does for a living. Maybe he was called the Woodman in the original book. I know the original book had a lot of differences. Like they were silver slippers. I think silver, maybe gold. I know it's some kind of metal, which makes more sense for shoes than gemstones, I guess. How do you make a shoe out of a ruby? Where do you get a ruby big enough? Were they just covered in rubies or were they made out of rubies? I don't know. Maybe they were just bedazzled with the rubies. Fuck off for a second, let me get a shot. Hey, we ran away. 
He's gonna come back though. I still hear him flapping. He's not dead, but we scared him off. Oh, we're already up here now. Oh. Okay, well, we've already explored up there, so let's cross the street and go back. Finding all these keys, though. I'm trying to remember if that's... I remember there is a lock. The keys all seem to be related because they're all from the Wizard of Oz. And I remember that there's a lock somewhere that has three keys for it. But I'm not sure where. And whether it's to do with like some kind of secret. Or is it something I actually needed to do for the game to do all this running around? It seems like, it doesn't seem like the drinks are ever on, like, one of these obvious, I mean, one of these non-obvious. It seems like they're, like, at the end of a street, or in an alley or something, not just, so, I'm not going to search so hard anymore. Where am I? I think I took the wrong turn. No, this is right. Just keep going straight. Keep going straight and hug the upper bit. But I have already been here. Where I haven't been is this next row across the street. I tried to shoot him before he got me. Don't like you. What do I got here? Looks like something, but I can't interact. Too many enemies. I'm not sure if this game has a manual reload. I'm down to 30 spare bullets already. Oh, f fuck you. Is there anything in that little thing you just left, though? So back up Levin Street. You fuck off. I'm just going to try to get to that door. It doesn't sound like he's chasing me anymore. Okay, where is the doghouse? There we go. Okay, we use the house key, we're in the house. Another first aid kit. Things are looking up. Do I say anything about the plant? Nope. Okay, so once you're inside, I guess when you're indoors, then it does all the then it does all of the, um, all the doors can be locked or broken or whatever. Can I watch the news? There's a TV set. The power must be out. It doesn't work. Nothing special. 
That looks special to me. It's a jug of milk or something. Okay, um... Can't really see in the corner. Nothing useful. Those handgun you bullets are useful. Thank you. Health drink in the kitchen. Something brightly cornered. Brightly cornered. Brightly colored in the corner, but he's not reacting. I think it's a potted plant. Fridge? Refrigerator's empty. You sure about that? Oh, this is the door with three locks right here. And here's a map. Hmm. Keys for Eclipse. Keys for Eclipse. What do you mean keys for Eclipse? There's a car called an Eclipse, isn't there? This is going to be the Lion, Witch, and Wardrobe keys, though. I mean, Lion, Witch, and... Yeah, use the key of Lion. Use the key of Woodman. Use the key of Scarecrow. It's unlocked. Great, so... In the next video, we'll be going through that door. Obviously, got to save first. In the next video, we're going through the store. Keys for Eclipse. Eclipse? Why the, why, what do they mean by Eclipse, though? That's where I got one of the keys. But what, is, what does an Eclipse have to do with anything? I don't know what they mean by that. Keys for Eclipse? I did save just now. I just gotta go back and see. Since I read that note, is there anything new there? Keys for Eclipse? That just... So, yeah, there won't be anything else productive in this video unless... That turns out to be something, but I did find a key there, so... I think it's just... I don't know why it's phrased that way. I don't know why it's called... I don't know why it's called Keys for Eclipse instead of, like, the key for this door or something. Eclipse? What Eclipse are they talking about? But it's probably the key I've already got. I just don't know why they phrase it that way. This is not even where I want to go. Down here, right? <sighs> there, nothing else. So, in the next video.
In the next video, we'll go through that door that we unlocked with the three locks. And we'll see... What's on the other side? I bet it'll get even weirder and stranger and spookier. It'll get more violent and disturbing and imaged and gamified and condomized and cassetted. I'm just wondering if I can look at the door and see, like, is the door called the Eclipse Door? And what would an Eclipse have to do? I can't really see the door. It's just a regular door, it looks like. With shutters on it. I don't know what an Eclipse has to do with, there's, there's not an Eclipse. But anyway, we'll go through the door in the next video. Spooky scary.